So, uh, this idea is actually a slightly adapted of a thing I've been thinking about for a while, which is that I use a lot of things like Slack and Gitter and Matamus for like, all these different <laughs> platforms for uh, my work. And very often, at the end of the day, there's been hundreds of messages across different channels. And if you're a professor who doesn't, um, isn't following everything at the moment, at the, at, you know, in real time, you get totally lost. And so an idea I've been thinking about for a long time is that, well, it'd be great to have a tool that can summarize this, maybe using some like, natural language processing, machine learning stuff to help that professor make sense of it. Now, I've, that idea I had, I think, actually fitted in quite nicely with the theme of documentation. So I've slightly evolved it to give us this uh, idea of Slack overflow, that you would be nice, it'd be nice when, very often I find I get a question from a user on, that, on those platforms that uh, I then answer and it involves, you know, uh, back and forth and you give examples and so on. It'd be very nice if we could have a relatively simple way or facilitate taking those questions and the answers and the examples and turning that into real documentation that is then persisted in some way. And so the idea here is to use things like the Slack API or whatever we end up, we end up looking at um, to, to, to query, the, pull up the messages, turn it into markdown. Either maybe you, know, you start by just sticking into a a GitHub issue, or maybe you think about turning it into a markdown, and it then ends up in the, the actual documentation. Uh, but in a nutshell, that's Slack overflow.